Unilever is partnering with Microsoft to deepen its use of quantum computing. According to consumer goods technology, Unilever is now using Azure quantum elements within its data lab, virtual R&D center. I feel like I need to like push up my spectacles for this one. Um, <laughs> It expects that these new capabilities will have a tremendous impact according to a series of statements and videos from the two companies. With these new capabilities, Unilever will be able to use natural language to query scientific information and it anticipates slashing the time required to perform computational simulations, including running thousands of lab experiments in the time it typically takes to run a few dozen. As one example, Unilever can use a simulation that predicts an outcome based on a molecule's chemistry, enabling the company to perform a test without needing to manufacture them. Kelly, are you like, this is like science hour now. We've shifted dramatically. Um, Big what shift. Is, yes. What is your position on quantum <laughs> computing's impact on the CPG industry? Please begin your doctoral thesis. Perfect. Um, got to also slide up my glasses for this one. So <laughs> as a, as not a computer scientist, I actually pulled some of my recent clients on this one, uh, mm -hmm. work with a lot of people in the R and D space, actually in, in CBG. So I went direct to the source to, to get their thoughts on this one. And overall, um, feedback is that this has legs and, you know, I think the article said that quantum computing specifically is, a bit off in the future, like three to five years, they were saying till they'll really be able to deploy it at Unilever. But um, we're already seeing today, you know, everywhere in the business, but specifically within R and D, opportunities to leverage early stages like AI to either make processes more efficient and then also make predictability of formulas more stable, get more accurate. So some of those things are already being tested today in earlier yeah. forms. Um, you know, predictive formula development, automating lab processes, uh, the list goes on. But overall, um, this seems like a great opportunity. And it'll just be about, you know, how can we even further optimize it once the technology advances? Yeah. I mean, I, I like this for some of the same reasons that I like the target Gen AI uh roll out earlier in the, the episode, because I feel like when you're, when you're giving more data, more scientists are more quickly able to share data and results of tests with a tool like this. Like I have to imagine that that's going to help improve processes like the ones you're talking about, Kelly. Absolutely. And I think especially, you know, in CPG and, you know, like I mentioned at the beginning, I, I work a lot on beauty, the the mm -hmm. need to be a fast developer is so mm -hmm. critical, especially mm -hmm. when that's what the consumer wants. It's a high degree of innovation. So the more that you can speed up what typically can be quite a long formulation process, not only is it going to make your labs more efficient, but it's it's going to help you on the front end as well. Yeah, especially like I love that you brought up like like you just think of a TikTok's impact on product development too. Like totally. if if there's a product that's really like using an ingredient that's really wonderful or excluding an ingredient that maybe comes out as harmful, like the ability to more rapidly create products seems like it would be a great thing. Um Jeff, love to get your thoughts in here. Anything you'd throw in? No, I mean I I think everything that was mentioned is is right. I I think it's going to be it will be disruptive and 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 impactful for for all the CPG players. I actually find it more interesting on who these CPG players are actually partnering with. So oh. you have you have bets that are being made here uh across the 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 universe with Microsoft. Mm -hmm. Um uh you know with with it'll be with Google, it'll be with with Oracle. You'll have these these CPG companies that are trying to to get a get an edge up on on uh, mastering big data and i think it's super interesting for them to pick microsoft i think it's the fr frankly i think they're they're head and shoulders above the rest of the competition in terms of mm -hmm. their gen ag, ag capabilities today um but we're early we're early yeah. and i think to see where uh where the ultimate you know sophistication comes down the road it, it it's uh it's anybody's best guess yeah, I love the unlikely bedfellows. Like, who's going to match yeah. up with who? Who brings, like, you know, are they partnering with Amazon's tools? Like, are they, like, when you think about when they're going direct to market? But, Chris, you're the only one wearing glasses on this podcast today. Uh -huh. So, I'm going to go to you for the final wrap up. Um, and you have some recent experience with this um, for a, a panel, right? That you. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, you know, honestly, to... anything that helps me balance my chemical equations in organic chemistry faster, I'm all in. You know, yes, I think, yes, you know, based course. on my college beep, boop, experience. Beep, beep. And, yep. 
Yeah. yeah. That being the worst <laughs> class I ever, <laughs> I ever took like my worst performing class ever. But, um, no, I did. I had some, I had some experience, you know, talking, we were talking more about generative AI than quantum computing, but, um, you know, I think I, I spoke with Pierre-Yves Colloc of P, uh, Pernod Ricard. I hope I'm saying that right. I always have trouble saying that um, uh, at Shop Talk Europe about all the use cases that he, as a CPG uh, chief digital officer, was seeing for general, generative AI. And dude, I could he could have talked to me for hours about them sure. all. And yeah. I think I underestimated, we talk a lot about retail, but I think I underestimated the impact that this is going to have on the CPG industry. I think the CPG industry is going to benefit from this a lot more so even than the retailers because all the use cases he was talking to you about on uh, talking to me about on stage i mean they were all real use cases that he is in deployment on so mm -hmm. it was it was pretty insane to think about so yeah i mean i think this is smart i think jeff's point about who are the bad fellows and the other thing i think about too is you know who wins in that whole battle nvidia nvidia yeah. sitting on the sidelines <laughs> being the tool that everybody's got to use and they're just loving life right now as evidenced mm -hmm. by their stock price but uh yeah that's my take Anne.